one in every 20 Americans suffers from an autoimmune disease. Type 1 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, and Crohn's disease, to name a few. Because many causes of autoimmune diseases are shared, people with an autoimmune disease are more likely to suffer from more than one. At Benaroya Research Institute at Virginia Mason, scientists aren't focused on eliminating one or two autoimmune diseases. They're collaborating to take on all 80, sharing research to find the common links that lead to the diseases, so even one breakthrough has a much larger impact. And BRI's discoveries are having an impact on people living with autoimmune diseases today, like me. I was diagnosed with MS in 2003. Uh, that was three months after my mom was diagnosed. And my husband also has MS, as does his sister. So to say that we are living with MS in my family is a bit of an understatement. I was really frustrated before the clinical trial. Uh, I had tried a couple different injectable medications and I was having side effects that were not okay with me. And I was kind of at a loss as to what to do. I am so happy to be a part of this trial. It's a, it's a good fit, me being at BRI. They're helping me and yeah, I guess I'm helping them too. Molly Jo joined the repository here at BRI, uh, which provides samples for scientific study from patients. Here at BRI, we're all about discovering causes and cures of autoimmune diseases. That means really understanding how the immune system works and applying that knowledge to prevent, to treat, and to eliminate these diseases. Obviously, when people already have a disease, it would be nice if we could cure the disease. But the ultimate cure is to prevent the disease. If we do find people who have two or more antibodies, unfortunately that means that they will develop type 1 diabetes. And that means we want to give them the opportunity to be in a clinical trial to see if we can test a new therapy to delay or prevent the onset of type 1 diabetes. Being a scientist and a physician is, is, is pretty exciting for me as an individual. And the way we've treated those diseases in the past is to just attack the immune system and stop it from working. Obviously that's bad because we need our immune systems. So now what we've begun to understand is that there are pathways within the immune system that lead to disease. And so we target those immune pathways very specifically. The way I feel about my work at BRI is I'm enthusiastic in, and I think people who meet me realize that my goal is to have the patients be enthusiastic about helping us with the research because it gives them hope, and the scientists have that enthusiasm that keeps them coming to work every day. Well, the ultimate goal is to basically eliminate disease, autoimmune disease. So the way we do research at BRI is fairly unique within the, the scientific community in that we have basic researchers like myself interacting with, with doctors who, who see patients all the time. At our place, there's a complete integrated approach to how we do our science, where we go from basically bench to bedside back to bench, and we integrate them in, in ways that no one else does. It's because of the common links between these autoimmune diseases that we formed the research programs at BRI, all built and designed around attacking the fundamental questions that link them all. We're where we are today because of the past research. And if I can help those living with autoimmune diseases, I'm happy to do what I can because we're all in this together. And, and so, so are we. we.